back to Whiskey Wins with me Stuart. Today we've got Hazelburn 10 year old bottled in 2023 17th of May uh, to be specific. It's 46% ABV and I believe this one is purely bourbon. Uh, bourbon. Bourbon. There might be a mixture there. Um, I, I couldn't tell you but by the colour it looks it looks just bourbon but I mean there could be some sherry there. Uh, I just noticed it's got a little bit of uh, mist, scotch mist there. Uh, so yeah, we'll get down to this. This cost me, I believe, 55 to 60 pound. Can't remember the, the specific price. It's obviously non-chill filtered and no added colouring. Uh, so we'll get right down to it. The nose, there's coconut cream there. There's basil, uh, bay leaves, and possibly also orchard fruits. There's like canned pineapples as well. It's got a slightly salty note but ever so subtle and possibly like a vanilla cream icing or something like that it looks lovely in the glass the legs the way they, they kind of sit there uh, yeah just looks quite oily the palette yeah there's a a real floral sweetness on the palette it's got a little bit of a mineral aspect to it a little bit funky, but ever so slightly, uh, or maybe, is funky the right word? Maybe dirty, either or, <laughs> it's just very slightly. There's also a, a real subtle smoke element there, nothing overpowering, anything like that. There's a really kind of buttery, um, oaty biscuit flavour as well, and I want to say, I want to say like poached pears, Poached pears with custard over them, or some sort of kind of poached pears pie, or, or some sort of pie like that, like an apple crumble, but with, with pears. So a pear crumble <laughs> with like custard over it, and there, there is a little bit of a maritime feel to it. But yeah, it, it, the, the kind of saltiness, the maritime funkiness, the smoky element, they're all very subtle, uh, very quite contained within the, the spirit itself. It's quite a clean spirit as well, although I did <laughs> I did describe it as dirty, but yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, I think clean's maybe the right word, or maybe sharp, maybe more sharp, it's quite a sharp spirit, but not off-putting, yeah, maybe sharp's a better word, it's just nice, uh, it's just an easy drinker. The finish, I would say the finish is medium, there's more of that, there's more of that butter element in the finish. More of that butter, like on the palate, uh, I said kind of oaty biscuits, there's, there's more of that in the finish. I feel in the finish, in the mouth it's a little oily, but I feel in the finish it's a lot more evident, this oiliness to it, uh, quite fantastic in the finish. Maybe a little bit more savoury in the finish as the, the, the spirit dissipates and disappears, you've got more of this kind of savoury um, maritime element to it in the finish, but in the palate, it's a lot softer now that the spirit's away and down your down your throat, down your chest. Uh, that that mat, that saltiness is coming through a lot more. Really lovely, honestly. I opened this a couple weeks back on a live, and I believe I enjoyed the first dram. And ever since, I've been yeah, I've been drinking it. Uh, <laughs> I've been going after it because it's just such a nice drinker. It's. If it is bourbon, I have to actually not check this up, I probably should have researched this. But I think it's bourbon, but it's just it's just easy sipping, it's easy going, it's not offensive. You get a lot of the, the hazel burn spirit coming through, and a lot of that kind of, or maybe not a lot of it, but at least a touch of Campbelltown funk, a touch of Campbelltown dirtiness, just to remind you that it, it hails from Springbank. So, we'll get down to the, the conclusion, see if it's a whiskey bin or a whiskey bin. I think you can tell what it can be, uh, or what it's going to be. So a 10 year old at 55 to 60 pound, yeah, Hazel Burn, I think it's worth it. I think that's a good price. Would I buy it again? Uh, probably not, just because, well, I mean, it depends what 10 year old comes out, but uh, would I buy this 10 year old again? I mean, this this could easily be, this could easily be like those whiskies you just keep on the shelf, at, like Springbank 10. I know, it, I know it varies, I know the batch variations there, 
But th- this one specifically, this this seventeenth of May, twenty twenty three bottle, this could easily be a, a staple on the shelf. The only reason I'm going to say I'm not going to buy it again is because I would end up buying a different Hazel Burn Ten, a different batch variation because I want to try it. So I'm going to say I wouldn't buy it again. I think it's worth it. I uh, wouldn't buy it again, and would I recommend it? Yeah, I would definitely recommend this. It's just such a good sipper. It's not overly complex. The the flavours are quite consistent. It's not going to, you, you don't have to peel away at it, you don't have to add water, it's 46% ABV. It's not going to, yeah, it's not going to blow you away, but it's just a really good sip or a really good drink. So, yeah, it's 2 out of 3, it's a whiskey win, uh, and that's all I've really got to say in this one. Short and sweet. I hope you've enjoyed the review. I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Wins. I'll see you later.